Okay, three, two, one here. Taking a look at some Estes two stage payload rockets from now and from then. So here we have the Magnum. This is a, a vintage one. This is an old school rocket right here, multi stage flying model rocket, the Magnum two stage, and it has payload section. Estes been doing this um, for many, many years. And here's my Omega, my favorite, favorite one, payload section right there two-stage, you know, pop-and-go fins. And then the new Mayhem, I just finished this build, it's right here. Um, it's not complete yet, except for the paint. The build is all done. I'm still, I can still add some more fillet to the uh, fillets. I always say fillet, to some fillets to the uh, fins just to strengthen them up a little more. But it is very, very similar. All three of these is uh, very similar, all BT-60. But I did notice one thing that Estes has done. There's been a little innovation going on in Estes. They have this which is called a staging cone. This part right down in there is nice. This is a new touch, something I've never seen. It directs the gases more straight so you can go to your staging motor. Then they actually did um, a little nozzle, a retaining nozzle screw on in the booster. So all this is new stuff right here. And that little, I just have the spacer in there because you can fly this on E's or D's. So just some new stuff going on. This, my, um, this Omega right here, I think I have this one set up for D's. I do have another a scratch built version of this that will fly on E's. So you can put the spacer in there and fly it on the shorter motors or remove the spacer and you can fly it on the longer E engines for all those that fly. You know the, the different lengths, but they're 24 millimeter diameter. But this one is based on D motors only. This is old school. This is before um, E motors were even out. This is a skill level two to Magnum. Um, still brand new, sealed in the package. So this is just a cool, cool one. I always like this design, still sitting in the package. I may get this built one day, but they are dropping some, some releases that are very similar. It's cool though, I like it. Um, the Mayhem, very good looking rocket. I'm just trying to decide on uh, pink, if I'm gonna go with the, with the traditional, with the, uh, the way the face card look, or am I gonna go with something new and on my own? We will see, we will see. I do like it though, I like the Mayhem a lot. And also have, you know, the Omega, which is just classic. Um, this has been, this has had that serious crash where I made a mistake and had the motors in backwards. I had prepped the night before and I just had the zero was up here and my D12, seven was in the bottom. And you gotta know if you have a zero up top, you're gonna get failure because it's not gonna eject the gases. So it just turned over and it hit the ground for, you know, super tragic, hardcore, crazy crash. But I had parts and I was able to get it all rebuilt. I think I had to rebuild from, where I, where I start? I think there's a mark where I um, was able to build up from it because it crushed all of this was crushed. Camera got destroyed, not camera, I didn't have onboard video, but the altimeter. But yeah, it destroyed a lot, it destroyed a lot. And you can see just some of the um, scars and things that the fins are getting from hitting. Yeah, that one right there on the corner especially. It's getting all dinged up. But this rocket has a lot of character, a lot of miles. I've been flying this thing for years on two stage, like D12 zeros. <laughs> to uh, D12-7s and stuff like that. So yeah, really high flying, onboard video stuff, really nice. Just check the archives, put the Omega in search on my channel, and you'll find some flights of that. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing, I'm starting to notice that they're doing this thing where you cut the cone separate from this transition. Then you're getting this opening in here. Um, I'm thinking about adding a floor, maybe up top or just go down a little bit lower and adding like a die if I can get past this. And I can cut a part of that off just put some kind of floor in there so your stuff don't go all the way down in there or put a piece of foam in there at least something lightweight and even the cone is um it's open let me take a look real quick sorry guys yeah see the cone just have this opening this hole but you can get more payload up in there you know it will ship your weight forward but you know just just thinking things through as i like i like a floor in there and if you can see it used to be that hole when you would cut this separate from the transition, it would leave that hole there because it was a, it went to a, like a, a point almost and you would cut and they would leave that hole, which is somewhat better than this big opening. So that's one thing I did notice, but that's, that's small stuff, that's small stuff. But yeah, I no notice here, they're leaving a smaller space for you to, um, with this build anyway, it's a smaller coupler that so when staging happens, you don't have that far to travel because with the Omega, it's a really small, it's a really, long space to um travel let me take and show you that but it works though it pops this off and it goes so you can see it's definitely wider that's probably what that's probably an inch and a half maybe let me see what we got here 
an inch and a half space to travel possibly or one inch maybe oh yeah it's one inch about one inch to travel before your staging happens and there they shortened it so they're definitely making some um making some good moves so i just build everything stock and um but y'all yeah, do like this though so that's a half inch half inch compared to a full inch of travel space so the new school and it's the old school so yeah i noticed little things like that and then you can see in here like the gases does get directed but this cone is very nice i do like that that's that was a new part first time i've ever seen it where it goes to a cone where the gases will get more directed up into the upper stage so very very nice nice to see you know small changes like that but yeah cool so it's cool i like it i like it I like it so this is my rock 321 guys before you go check this out support the channel any way you can and welcome back so yeah that is my zine um if you want to support that just go to the website um, i have some other stuff on the site too check the link below also go to sdsrockets.com put in this discount code in underscore three two one get yourself a discount you can probably get the mayhem right now you can't get the magnum magnum is long long gone this is old school stuff here i like the way they did that two stage i forgot to mention those fins how they face the opposite and they kind of meet up very nice very nice 316 launch rod yeah, 316 launch rod for that one. The Omega is um regular 1 8 launch rod. Um, even the original one, 1 8. Not the bigger, not the wider 316. But anyway, things change over time. So this is Model Rocks 321. Stay tuned for more videos, more stuff coming up, launches coming up. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the latest and what's going on. 321, and I'm out.